Welcome back, everyone, to another Bloodline video. It's your boy, Steven Ryan. Back at it with another one. Mm -hmm. Going to be talking some cards today. Yeah. And um, not ripping anything, so we're just going to be talking about Panini, some concerns of ours. What the heck is going on with them lately? Oh. Sounds simple enough. Yeah. That's, that's all we're going to do. Uh, we've been opening a lot of Prism, as you've seen on the channel, if you've been watching a lot of our videos or even some of our videos. So, and we've noticed that there has been a handful of issues with with Prism. If you're looking on screen now, you could see um, this was from our last Prism video, which was uh, um, got the bug. Yeah, I saw the little fly rolling around. <laughs> it, it hangs around here. I can never get it. Uh, anyways, as we're getting sidetracked, sorry. <laughs> Prism. It, it's been a fun rip, but it's it's been a disappointing rip too because I feel like, especially with the base cards, they're all got something wrong with them. And just looking here, you have all these. It's some sort of residue. It almost feels like if salt were to dry out, like salt water were to dry out, kind of leave you with that salty um, residue. Yeah. And I don't I don't know if anyone has seen this or had to experience this in the past, but you know, centering issue is always a problem. You can see it here on this card, it's shifted really down into the right or left. Um, um, almost almost every card um, has had some type of scratch or some type of watermark or, you know, multiple dimples on the card, which is very frustrating. Oh yeah. And you know, speaking of which case hit uh, Jimmy Graham, the red and red and black checkered, um, look, look at how angled that is. That's, That's the um, Jimmy Graham, you know, the St. Louis arch of cards. Yeah. And really, I think I've gotten it a little straighter because I think it was a lot worse in the video where we originally it was. pulled this. It so was I, a lot worse, but putting in... Uh, I've had it on a top loader and I've had some weight on it too to kind of try to level it out because it's just kind of uh, ridiculous. I mean... So, I mean, it, it, and what should we expect given... Every card can't be perfect, you know. No. I could see print lines. I could see the little dimples from the machines or whatever. Uh, but the residue, what the heck is this? The centering issues, I okay, I could see that. Hmm. But what the heck is the residue? Yeah. Why? Why was it that we pulled a card that I get a couple dimples or one or two? But this one of the cards, and I was trying to find it for this video, and I can't. I just, for the life of me can't remember where I put it but it had like a dozen or more dimples in it yeah it was, and you described it in that video it was like someone took us uh, a bunch of pencils. pencils and just dropped them straight on the card yep minus the graphite but yeah yeah so panini is it's, I, don't know. I mean as much as I love like the products like I'm concerned with select coming out what is that gonna look like optics coming out we've already seen it with last year's like basketball um, and it's just, you, I think ever since, I mean, it's been one, the hobbies exploded and two, mm -hmm. they're losing the license. I, I don't think they give a crap. No. And I really don't. I mean, it's had to go from mosaic football, which probably was one of the best and most fun uh, retail rips uh, that we've had in a while. Mm. And to go from that into prism and there being no real case it's no real chance at any getting any number cards or pulling anything necessarily special of retail yeah the only it, parallels are what's ever exclusive to each box or yeah each or each uh store that they come from and the basic retail exclusives which minus is these sorry. silver and and green and even the silvers and the greens and the parallels it's the cards are still different um even yeah. in retail, like the the design, the the photos that they use for the cards are completely different than what you get in a hobby. So they're still even not worth the same amount of value. If you pull a silver a silver um, Trevor Lawrence that we pulled, it's not the exact same. As yeah, because it's considered a variation, mm -hmm. and, and I think it's a more common variation, even though it's called a variation. Yep. Which is they're just I feel like they're doing every obviously with a um, I was just looking at the box. Uh, 440 cards. Oh man, I really wish I looked up how big it was last year. I'll throw it on screen right now. I'll find it and throw it on screen. Mm -hmm. um, but with that many cards and so many different variations, oh, 
you know, you can get two or three different Trevor Lawrences. I don't think it's three, but two or whatever. It's, I get why people are, are frustrated and I'm frustrated and it's, it's a fun rip and we do have fun on this channel, especially mm -hmm. when we pull like a pink Trey Lance and, you know, we do have fun ripping these cards, but it's disappointing when you want to also add to your PC and you get, uh, the ever warped Jimmy Graham. Yeah. Even yeah. though in a top loader, it's not that noticeable. And even the top loader, it's so warped that it's warping the top loader a little bit. Yeah. That's like, yeah. that's saying something. That's a whole new level of warpedness. Yeah. So it, it just makes me concerned with select coming out. I get why so people are, are bailing out of the hobby. It doesn't help that, you know, economic times aren't the best. Mm -hmm. So I, I, if I am advising anyone, just be cautious and of, of what you're buying and make sure that you also got to be in the hobby for good reasons, yep. you know, collecting, um, it's harder to make and, and invest in this hobby than it was two years ago. Um, which... and, it, and I would say, do your due diligence whenever you're looking into a set now. I mean, if I had known that, uh, retail prism retail is not going to have all these hits and, you know, yeah. very limited parallels and what you can get. I probably wouldn't have bought as much. I probably wouldn't even would have we got a couple. For, yeah, got a couple for the channel, and that was about it. Yeah, and we, but we like re ripping prism. We might hold a couple. There's a lot of good rookies in this class, yeah. and it makes me look into going into the newer sets Selects. a little bit, a little bit differently because I want now. I want to know what a what I'm actually. What my what my hits and what are my chances of getting these cards going to be, especially going into yeah. select and well, select potentially will there optic, be, you know, animal prints. Yeah. How many animal prints will we yeah. have? Tiger and elephant, like we, like we pulled in the past. Will we? Yeah. Will we just have one or neither? Can I pull a number autograph like we did last year? Can we? Who yeah. knows? I mean, these are things that we're gonna have to look to look into going into, you know, these newer sets coming out and figure out yeah. if it's worth. Is it worth buying a bunch of retail? Is it worth just getting a hobby? Is it even worth neither? Neither, <laughs> neither, neither of those options and just buying yeah. uh, the cards that we want straight up and saving yeah. our money. Because you know. with Prism H2 is I think 800 bucks, maybe 700 mm -hmm. at some card shops and um, the full hobbies between 15, 13, 14 and 1500. It's just, that's a hefty chunk of change, especially going in, like I said, not so great economic economic times. Don't have the stimulus checks rolling in and a bunch of disposable income. It's getting rough. Yep. And I'm hoping uh I'm hoping Panini feels it a little bit, but you know mm -hmm. we there's still a lot of people out there buying cards. We still buy a lot of cards and mm -hmm. got a lot into into Prism. It's fun to rip. We have fun on the channel. Yep. Do it's we also do. irritating at the same time. So. Yeah. We have a lot of fun, but it's. It's annoying. It comes at a price. The lack of quality control. I mean, you know, I know. I and it, it, it's like they're kind of on their way. They're like doing whatever they can to make money on the way out, which, you know, kind of leaves a sour taste in everyone's mouth when if, if they if they keep on this path. And we we hope they change it later on. But you know, I probably not, doubt I'm, it will. Yeah, I'm not optimistic just because Fanatics has taken over. But it really makes me excited for the change. Yeah, it does. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of get a preview of it when Fanatics ta uh, bought tops. Mm -hmm. um, we can kind of see what tops quality control might look like as to the years in the past and you know how big their print print runs are. So kind of look forward to that that test run. Yeah, but, and then we've got a little bit of experience with it with Fanatics and how they're doing drops already. I, yeah, and and I think we can cover that in another discussion. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I I really like what I've seen from Fanatics. Yeah, so far uh, I can't Panini. complain. Um, but I'm looking forward to whenever, for sure, looking looking forward to whenever they take over and seeing all the new, hopefully the new sets or bringing back a couple of the old sets that they bring. But it's gonna be. A game changer in what 2024 25 i think 25 three years two and a half years i'm really curious um we don't open a lot of other panini i know we've done some ufc mm -hmm. but i wonder if ufc has this problem or if they're more conscientious about uh their quality control because it's yep. a licensing they have secured mm -hmm. um versus prism grant or football and basketball but granted it's you know these products are a lot bigger football basketball so many more players so many more 
such a larger market for it but yeah and uh, we didn't even get talked about you know the pushbacks of the products and oh yeah the fact I mean, that they we're still opening 2021 when you know this class this class was drafted 15 months ago yeah and they're still making and adding new sets that have little to no interest in the hobby at the moment and it's you know, yeah it's, it's kinda... like photogenic what's mm -hmm. a new one um i saw some people really liked them and and you know i i can see why those cards would be appealing but um yeah they are throwing a bunch of especially when pretty sure there's like a stock supply or supply issues with the hobby and then they're pushing out all these products that mm, could we care less about yeah yeah and <laughs> yeah. they're not and they're not really doing it for uh ufc they're not making no. new products they're just yeah. keeping with the same old so it's because you know football basketball cash cow yep and they're losing it so they're trying to pull all the money they can yeah um for whatever whatever reason so yeah that's we just wanted to hop on give a little rant about panini our irritations our hesitations going forward about getting uh prison basketball or select football because i know that's right around the corner too so um yeah yeah i don't know I'm, I'm, i mean just uh i guess just let us know what you think uh yeah if you're upset in the hobby at the moment like us or um if you're optimistic about the change with fanatics you know let us know what you what what's on your mind as uh as you're going through this time in the hobby and whether or not you're gonna stay or get out but yeah, we would I mean, like to know i yeah. mean if more people or everyone's like us or if they're not uh yeah i'm pretty sure we're not um alone mm -hmm. in our feelings with with panini so yeah like ryan said let us know um let us know if you want us to do more videos like this just talking uh we can call it we can call it a segment uh <laughs> what we, we can call it like bleeding cards or something I, like, <laughs> I thought of that earlier it's not just now but yeah <laughs> we, we're bleeding cards and that's what we're talking about <laughs> so taking we, ryan out to the back alley yeah beating him up after some <laughs> of those uh so <laughs> his contender optics <laughs> but yeah let us know what you think uh we could do more videos like this talking maybe fanatics taking over the hobby uh no that's kind of old news but still could be optimistic and give updates on that and, mm -hmm. and whatever other topics we can we could talk about so let us know down in the comments we could definitely do another uh i want to i almost said session but video of bleeding cards yeah, yeah. so until next time y'all we'll, we'll catch, catch you later, later.